Can you use AI to help you cook up the perfect bodybuilding cheat meal of your choice? Who knows? We're going to find out today. I'm going to use AI to give me five different meals. I'm going to pick one. I'm going to go to the shops, buy the ingredients, cook it up, give it a bit of a taste test. AI for bodybuilding cheat meals. Who would have thought? Let's go. So I've been using AI quite a bit over the past uh, 20 months or so. I think a lot of people jumped on board back in November 22. And I have been using it in digital fitness coaching and also cooking up lots of different recipes on the weekend. So I've got an AI bodybuilding chef model here. I've got some instructions in the background for it. Basically what it's going to do, it's going to give me five different suggested meals and it's going to break down calories and macros and cooking instructions and all that good stuff. So all I'm going to ask it is to give me five different cheat meal options. Let's go. Now, like I said in the background, I do have some custom instructions, so I'm not just asking um, AI randomly. It knows what it's got to do. I have no idea about the output. Let's see what it gives us. And here we go. So we've got the five options coming up. No idea what they're going to be. First up, the Muscle Melt Monster Burger. Lean beef mince, cheddar cheese, bacon, brioche buns, caramelized onion, barbecue sauce, lettuce and tomato. I'm a big fan of burgers. All right, I'm, I like that one. I do. Loaded protein pizza extravaganza. I love the names as well. Two large pre-made pizza bases, 400 grams of pizza sauce. Wow. Okay. 500 grams of mozzarella cheese. Chicken breast, pepperoni, ham, mushrooms. Uh, not the biggest fan of that. I'm not going to lie. Fried chicken and waffle stack. Interesting, interesting. Eight chicken thighs, two cups of buttermilk, two cups of flour, eight frozen waffles, maple syrup, 100 grams of butter. Look, that sounds pretty good, all right? That's that's up there with the burger, so number one and number three look pretty good. Protein-packed nachos supreme. Tortilla chips, lean beef mince, black beans, cheddar cheese, uh, not too bad. Muscle Building Mac and Cheese Deluxe. And uh, macaroni, cheddar cheese, cream cheese, cream, chicken breast. Look, oh, that's probably going to be a little bit sickly. But as I say that, I am leaning towards the fried chicken and waffle stack. Look, I, I like that. I like it. I think I'm going to go with that. I think I'm going to go with the fried chicken and waffle stack. Let's build out number three. Oh. Let's build out number three with uh, the recipe and the ingredients in detail. Let's see how it goes. I like the sound of this. Eight chicken thighs, two cups of buttermilk, two cups of flour, eight frozen waffles, 200 milligrams of maple syrup. Wow. And 100 grams of butter. And here we go. So it's got the pretty detailed stack. It's added extra ingredients in there. Okay, so... <laughs> The ingredients have jumped up. Wow, this looks like there is quite a bit to cook. All right, looks like this is it. So going to head to the shops, going to get all these ingredients, going to come back, going to cook it up, and then give it a bit of a go. Fried chicken and waffle stack. Here we go. Here we go, shopping has been completed. Got the chicken thigh, got the buttermilk, maple syrup, all the seasoning, got the waffles. So the very first step from the AI instructions is to put the chicken thigh into the buttermilk and leave it for at least two hours, if not overnight. I'm not gonna be able to do it overnight. So it's gonna be in there for two hours and I'll cover it up and then we can get on to the rest of the prep. Next up, time to prepare the coating. So when we pull the chicken out of the buttermilk, it's going to go in the flour mix and we add all this in. So we've got our paprika, uh, I think that's the onion powder, maybe the garlic powder. That's the other one, garlic or onion powder. We've got the pepper, cayenne pepper. We have the normal pepper. We've got some salt. 
mix this around and we should be nearly ready to go. Alrighty, so the chicken thigh has been in the buttermilk for about two hours. It did say to leave overnight if you wanted to, but two hours was the minimum. We've got the flour mix with all the seasoning. I'm gonna put it in there, cover it, sit it on this wire rack for about 10 minutes. And then instead of uh, deep frying it or even flash frying it, I'm gonna use the air fryer. That way I'm not using so much oil, just a bit of olive oil. I uh, didn't really wanna put it in vegetable oil and deep fry it. So a bit of olive oil, and then I'm gonna put it on this. And so it doesn't stick to the wire tray that's underneath, I've just got some holes perforated through, and that way the air should flow through very nicely in the air fryer. Here we go. All right, first piece of the chicken coming up. Just let the excess come off and into the flour mix. I'm doing I want to give it a good covering. I've got clean hands, good covering, both sides. Get a good coat on them both. And then just on the wire rack just to sit and just rest. Okay, these babies are done. So now I'm gonna sit them on the wire tray. 10 minutes and then I'm going to cover them in the oil and then into the deep fryer. All right, so not going for the deep fry or the flash fry, whichever way you look at it, just going to spray it with some uh, olive oil and then I'll put it on the tray over here and this olive oil should mean that it's nice and crispy in the air fryer. Let's give it a good coat. Love a bit of olive oil. Can't go wrong with olive oil. Hope this all holds together. I'm gonna to try something. See if this works. Hope it works. <laughs> Very happy with that. All right, and now this side. And so the holes in the baking paper should allow plenty of heat to go through. You get plenty of the air moving through. And look, that's gonna be great. And now, into the air fryer. So put it in. All right, chicken's done in the air fryer. So we're gonna put the waffles in the oven for two minutes, get the chicken out, and we should be in business. The chicken does not look too bad at all. Pretty excited for this actually. Waffles done. Set a bit of butter. So I'm gonna load up both sides full of calories with this. Butter on the waffles. Looks pretty good for a cheat meal. Now the chicken hopefully stays together. Pretty good, very happy with that. And now maple syrup. I don't know about this on chicken, but anyway, let's see how it goes. It said be generous with the maple syrup. That is generous. Put the top on, the lid. And there we go. Ready for the taste test. Moment of truth, my first ever AI bodybuilding cheat meal. I have no idea what to expect. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That chicken is delicious. Mmm. I'm getting some of the maple syrup now. A very strange combination with the chicken, the crumb, and the waffle, but I'll tell you what, it actually works out, and the maple syrup just tops it off. I was a bit suspicious about the maple syrup, but I've got to say, it is, it is a pretty decent cheat meal. Mm. Not too bad, AI, eh? not too bad. 
And now we have my beautiful wife, Marika, who cannot lie when it comes to taste testing. Be honest, darling. I know this is not your cup of tea. Thumbs up or thumbs down? It's not bad, actually. Hmm. The maple syrup goes all right, doesn't it? Hmm. Would you have this if you're in the middle of a prep? I think I would. You would? I think someone who doesn't like sweet and savory together actually works okay. It's not too bad. Hmm. AI bodybuilding cheat meal. Did you get the thumbs up from Marika? Yeah, it's not bad. It's nice. Pretty good. So there we go, using AI to give you some new ideas when it comes to a bodybuilding cheat meal. Look, I would give that about a 7 out of 10. There's definitely some room for improvement. Marika gave it a 7 out of 10 too. When we used the two waffles with the one large chicken thigh, uh, if you include the butter and the maple syrup, it was about 860, 870 calories, give or take. It was about 56 grams of protein, 60 grams of carbs, 45 grams of fats. So there was quite a bit there in terms of uh, calories for a reward meal, cheat meal, off-plan meal, whatever you want to call it. Remember, they have a place in a bodybuilding prep. Uh, some extra calories certainly can give your training a boost for that particular day or maybe the day after. The psychological break of not having to eat the same foods day in, day out, maybe you know being social and having a cook-up and inviting some friends around or eating with your partner, reward meals, cheat meals, off-plan meals, they have a place. If you want to find out the perfect way to cook a barbecue chicken breast, check out this video up here. I shot it a couple of weeks ago. And if you're liking this content, please like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you 